Dear friends, it is Monday, January 17th, 2022, and we are doing our uh, Valley Presbyterian Church VPC video series. You can also get the written form of this series, which is available online at vpc.church uh, for your daily devotional times with God. You'll have some scripture and some, some words to help you think through that scripture, aid you in your prayer time. Or you can key into these video devotions. They're not exactly the same, but there are parallels and connections. And all of these different forms of devotion, written uh, and uh, video, connect in with our sermon series. So right now, uh, we're looking at uh, a series that is called Everyday Saints. I hope you can see that, Everyday Saints. And these are the spiritual practices which allow us to grow in our capacity to love others and to serve God. And so uh, these, these are special gifts, these practices to us. And uh, we can practice them each and every day. One of those we talked about a couple of weeks ago was keeping a running list so we can see how God is active in our lives. This changes the character of our prayer times uh, and our outlook on people and on ourselves. There's also the practice of Sabbath, and that will vary to some degree because our, we have individual spiritual temperaments. And we talked last week about what those temperaments are and how to discover how best to do Sabbath in your own life. And this week, we are going to look at the theme of hospitality. So I'm going to read to you uh, first from Deuteronomy, uh, chapters, uh, uh, chapter 10, verses 17 and 18, uh, which mentions this word, the stranger, also called the ger in the Old Testament, G-E-R. And I'm uh, then also going to read to you Genesis 18, uh, verses uh, 1 to 5. This is a portion of a, a famous hospitality story that involves Abraham. So let's listen first from Deuteronomy for the word of the Lord. For the Lord your God is, a, is God of gods and Lord of lords, the great God, mighty and awesome. This He is not partial and he takes no bribe. He executes justice for the orphan and the widow. God loves the strangers, providing them with food and with clothing. And then our second scripture lesson today is from Genesis 18, 1 to 5. Here it is. The Lord appeared to Abraham by the oaks of Mamre as he sat at the entrance of his tent in the heat of the day. Reminder that Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob were, were semi-nomads. So you can, you can see from the text that they um, were not wandering continuously throughout every month of every year, probably about six months. Uh, they had flocks. So once you move to the point where you have, um, you have sheep, you're going to probably be semi-nomadic. That's an indication of a semi-nomadic lifestyle. You're still living in tents, and there's still travel involved, but you're par partially sedentary and partially uh, nomadic. So he's outside of his tent, and he looks up and sees three men standing near him. When he saw them, he ran from the tent entrance to meet them, and he bowed down to the ground. And he said, My lords, if I found favor with you, don't pass by your servant. Let a little water be brought. Wash your feet. Rest yourselves under this tree, the shade of this tree in the hot part of the day. Let me bring a little bread that you may refresh yourselves, literally a few morsels. And after that, you can pass on uh, since you have uh, come to your servant. He's describing himself as their servant. So they said, uh, do as you have said. So uh, there is an obligation in the ancient Near East to offer hospitality to strangers. It's part of the ethic, the, the social customs. We, we would say the sociology, the outlook of this whole region. It's a shared thing in, in, at some levels. Um, notice that uh, God has identified himself as not only the great and and mighty and awesome God, but the God who is a, a God of justice. He takes no bribe, uh, and he executes justice with with an eye on the orphan and the widow. These are the most vulnerable people in any society. And the stranger, the outsider, the person who has come from outside. And that, that was a common circumstance in the ancient Near East. So what you've got is a situation where the nomadic and semi-nomadic people in this area are living in, in deserts. And there's not very much arable land, and they're not all agriculturalists, and so they're living, uh, they're having to move themselves and their herds to different areas to find pasture. 
And uh, in this process, there's vulnerability because of the desert climate and conditions. And so to find water and to find food, it is, uh, it's a perilous thing. And so um, there's a recognition that all kinds of things, in addition to the changing seasons and the need to move your herds, might cause you to have to migrate to a new area. For instance, war might do that, uh, or famine might do that. And in, in either case, you might be forced out of the area you're living in, have to go and be a stranger or a sojourner or a gur in another area. And so in a way, uh, the great archaeologist Roland DeVoe, in his book on ancient Israel, said that uh, this was a necessity, this law of hospitality, which was taken very, very seriously. And if, if it was a terrible, terrible thing to violate the law of hospitality, which was that you were obligated to give hospitality to strangers when they came to you in need. In, if you think in our modern setting where we have a uh, hospitality industry, this is hard for us to imagine. We also have social systems for those who can't afford hotels or motels when they're traveling or when they're forced to migrate. And so we have these institutions that provide a kind of a net network or a fabric to deal with uh, people's immediate need that can easily happen. But that was absent here, and so the clans would deal with it, a family would deal with it. And the head of the clan, in Arabic, the sheik, uh, in here the, the kind of father of the clan, would be the one who would extend hospitality to strangers. And here we see Abraham taking the role of a servant. He's actually calling himself their servant, even though they're coming to him in need. It's like a role reversal that is beginning to happen here. Um, Abraham is, um, is typical of his age in this sense, that he exercises this, uh, this sense of sacredness toward the stranger and this obligation of hospitality. Um, it's interesting in the Bible, Abraham himself sojourned in Egypt, as did Joseph and his brothers. And so this was a whole kind of social category, those who were sojourning and those who were strangers who needed hospitality. Let's, uh, let's take a minute, a moment and pray. Heavenly Father, I'm having trouble connecting to the internet. Heavenly take a look at the help section in your Alexa app. Heavenly Father, we are uh, praying today recognizing there are many people in our world who are sojourners. They do not have an address. They don't have a neighborhood. They don't have a support system. They are either homeless within a particular social setting or they're even uh, migrants or refugees. And so uh, help us to hear these texts this week on hospitality in a way that we will recognize how important it is to you that we that we exercise our hospitality in your name and that we, uh, we care for those who have these special needs. We ask this uh, in Jesus' name. Amen.